Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey guys, my name is Rosalind from Rosalind Journey Through Crafting. How are you guys doing tonight? Well, tonight we're going to do a Mickey balloon arch, right? So you see back here, we have our little Mickey and Minnie, and these are props that we made just for tonight. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start it off by, by um, putting my yellow um, down first. So that's what we're gonna do here. going to be my red. I'm going to do two reds. I'm going to do three actually. Make sure you press it down. Just like that. We're going to put our white in the middle. Guys, to see how it comes together at the end. And then we're gonna put another red, just like so. And do you guys see how it's coming together? Isn't that cute? Oh my god! So now we're gonna move over to this side here. We're gonna do the same thing. If we don't have enough balloons, guess what we're gonna have to do? Yes, ma'am. We're just gonna have to blow some. Because now I'm looking around, I might not have enough. We're gonna have to blow up another red. Things are always going to happen and you always have to be prepared. So, can you hear me that on the reading size? We're blowing our balloons to seven. this near because things are going to happen. So our balloons are seven inches. And, I, and if you didn't know, I'm going to tell you. Any electric pumps today, I use my hand pump. I wanted to see if I can do it. Now, I know I could do it, but I just wanted to see if I was out somewhere and my other pumps break. Will I be able to use this hand pump to blow up a whole bunch of balloons? And yes, you can. Again, I, I blew up all my balloons by hand. No pump. All I use. You mean you? All I use was, I'm sorry, was this, this hand pump here. I didn't use my electric pump and I'm so glad I didn't because now I know that it's possible. 
if you out and your other pump brake. All right, guys. We're moving on to the block right now. Let's do this. Let's hope we have enough and it's coming together. Yes, it is. Just like that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I hope you do too. It's just as easy as this, guys. Now, you see black tape around here. We have this black tape around here to hold this silver part here because some of the times these pieces get loose. And um, yeah, just be very careful because it will slap. And I'm going to tell you something. If it slap you, you're going you're gonna to feel it. So just push it down. We're going to keep going. Just like so. And I believe we don't have enough room. Just like that. You're just twisting them on. Twisting and pushing down. Twisting. Like this, and push them down. And if you push them down enough, you will not need to put in um, the five inch balloons. You will not need to put in the five inch balloons. But today I'm not putting in five inch balloons because I just wanted to show you guys how to put this together really quick. Once you have your balloons blown up, everything goes by fast. The balloons takes a very long time. That's what takes a very long time. The balloons. And I believe we're going to have to blow, blow up some more balloons. Showed you guys before. I showed you guys before how to do the five inch balloons. We're not putting in five inch balloons today because I have something else that I need to do in the next hour. So that's one of the reasons why we're not doing five inch balloons. But it's easy to do. Just blow your five inch balloons up inside you like. And just stick them in your sp your empty spaces. Just like that. So we're going to keep going around. Just like so. gives you a problem because you really can't see what you're doing so everything is based on feel right now and always at the end always make sure you stand back and take a look at what's going on I'm getting ready to do that now okay not too bad not too bad a little bit more moving and squishing you won't see your spaces but you guys get the idea and that's what this video is all about so we're going to keep going make sure you push in twist there you go And if you guys have any questions, please put it in a comment. You know I will answer. 
I don't know if it's going to be today, but I'll definitely get back in touch with you. So, we don't have enough balloons. No problem. We're going to come on this side here. And this way I'll know what I'm working with. So guys, I'm gonna be right back because I have I need to blow up some more balloons as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And yes, I finished blowing up the balloons. So again, I just want to bring it to your guys' attention again. The props were done by me, and if anybody would like um, any information on those, please don't hesitate to call me. They're easy peasy, I'm telling you. Some people look at them and be like, I'm not doing that. This was so easy. Um, it, the only thing it might take is time. And hopefully when you sit down to do something like this, you'll have time. And if you're also gonna need a cutting machine to cut out stuff like this. Um, can you cut it out? Can you draw it and cut it out? Hey, if you can do that, kudos to you. Cause I can't draw. But if I could, I would. And all you need is some cardstock or um, some, some, some color paper. And you can do this. I love, love doing this. They call it off the mat. Um, you can cut these things as big, as tall as you like. Um, I'll have some stand-up ones and if you give me a minute, I'll show you. Now these here is, I did these last year for um, a Mickey party and they stand up just like so. And like I said, you can do them in all colors. And this is Minnie. She was peeking up under the table, or she was on the table, I, I forget. But yeah. So, you know, you can do things like this and you just stand them up. It brings out your, um, you know, your balloon art. And you can actually do them in yellow and red. Unfortunately, this um, one I did was black and white. So that's why it doesn't have any of the colors in it. But um, yeah, you can do it. You can do it, guys. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So let's continue on with this. Again, pull your balloons in. And we're pulling them in to make them tight. As tight as can be. That way we won't need five inch balloons. But some people still put five inch balloons in this space. I'm not doing that again. Like I said, because we're not gonna need them. This thing is so cute and so fabulous. We, we don't even need to throw um, some balloons in it. But if you could, if you would, or if you wanted to, you could put some black ones into the empty spaces. I see empty spaces, but like I said, guys, I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on getting this baby up here. She's looking cute. And Mickey is looking cute and fabulous. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep going. And again, if you see empty spaces, just know that you can fill them in if you choose to. So we're gonna lock it in, twist and turn. Just like that. That, push it in. Twist and turn. Perfect. Twist and turn. Twist, twist and turn. You might pop a couple of them, especially when your balloons are freshly blown, blown up. Oh. They're tight. These balloons are really, really tight. Okay, so I'm going to start here, twist and turn, same way, just like that, 
push it down. Going. Twist and turn. You can always tell or feel when your balloons are not locked in. If they're not tight, they're not locked in. There you go. Push them down. Like I said, if you push them down, you lock them in. You won't need to use five inch balloons. Or, you won't need to use that many. But you will have to push them down and lock them in. Again, all I'm doing is, oh, you see this opening? That's where the pipe is gonna go in. Just like that, twist them, one over the other. Just like that, and push them close. Or push them down. There we go, just like that. So we're gonna continue. Let me go get the rest of my balloons. Okay guys, so let's finish this one here up. So what I'm gonna do, once again, we're gonna put the pole inside here. Push down, then we're just going to go over, twist our balloon, we're just twisting it on the pole, so so it can stay. You do not want to just sit it on the pole, um, because the next thing you know the balloons are coming off. Somebody touch it, your balloons are coming off, and you don't want that. Again, we're going to open it and stick the pole. Stick it on the pole. We're going to twist. Push down. Just like that. There you go. Looking fabulous. One more time. And turn. Push down. Lock and load. Again. set and we're good okay guys I want you to meet my friend Mickey he decided to join us today hey Mickey how are you so Mickey came to join us and it's our pleasure to have him here so again here's Mickey and guys I, you know some people prefer the balloons the, the helium balloons I prefer real characters I mean not real characters but the whole thing, I, you know, opposed to blowing up the balloons and have them there. Don't get me wrong, it's nice and all, but I think he looks very cute sitting here. This is what I prefer. I prefer to go by the, the, the dolls, the teddy bears and all of that and sit around. I think it looks more professional. Um, like I said, I, I, I do balloons, but if I had to or if I can, I would always do the, the, the dolls, the teddy bears. Just my preference. So we're going to finish off here. Yes! Lock and load. 
just like so. So again, you stand back and you take a look. And you have an empty space here. So you would have to keep twisting your balloon some way or the other. And the same is here. What you would do is just keep twisting your balloons and um, you can fill in that space. You do not need to buy, you, need, you do not need um, five inch balloons. I don't believe so. If you just keep twisting and turning your balloon. Like that. pretty good to me guys so guys my name is Raza from Raza Journey to Crafting once again if you guys have any questions please put it in the comments and now is a good time to to subscribe if you have not and to hit the like button because guys this one here is fabulous and if you want to see more of these videos I need you I need you to hit the bell so that way when I upload something guess who'll be the first to know Yes, and you know what? Come back anytime. I'd be welcome to have you. You know I love you. You know me and Mickey is down for the crown. Yes, ma'am. Once again, if anybody have any questions about um, off the mat um, cartoon characters, give me a call. I'm here for you. And um, we can do this again. So stay tuned because I got something really, 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 really cute coming up in the next video. But for now, this is Robin from Ralph and Jerry Drew Crafting. Guys, please tell me what you think. I would really like to know. If you like this video, please, 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 please let me know. So I'm going to move you in just a little bit. Zoom you in. There's our characters. Okay. So we're just going to move around just a bit so you can see. Hey Mickey, and I want you to see the characters. There you go. Those are the ones I made last year. I, I keep them because they're always going to be in style. Mickey is never, Mickey and Minnie is never going out of style. I don't care what nobody say. They're here with us to the end. Hope I thank you so, 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 so much. Make sure to come back again. Make sure. Bye-bye.